yes! Oh, yeah! Huh. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're going to update the amulet guide because there's been some major changes. Um, probably, you know, like I said, was going to happen. So this is the updated farming guide for amulet coins. So let's start with those changes. Frisk no longer shows which Pokemon has the item or items. This sucks. <laughs> I mean, the, it, it is a balancing thing, I think. Well, actually, the second change is the balancing thing. This is the change they made. Maybe Frisk wasn't meant to show items. So now you have to thief and guess which Pokemon has the item. But there's some tricks to it. We'll get to those, those tricks in the, in the future. Thief or Covet? Covet, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not really sure. No longer fails when fainting a Pokemon. This is the balance. This is huge. That means we no longer need to use low level Pokemon or 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 worry about crit critical hits, fainting the Pokemon, not getting the item. So now we can just have level 100 thief Pokemon and we are good to go. It's awesome. But with the frisk change makes it a little bit harder. Now, hordes carry less items now. So abusing hordes for items seems like it's going to be not as efficient. Hordes having less items means maybe single target farming would be better. I've done a lot of testing. I've tested multiple single target locations and I tried adding in pick, pick up and payday to you know offset the fact that you really didn't find very many coins on Meowth's single target. They all kind of sucked. Not gonna lie, you can uh, you can do some rare single encounter shiny hunting while doing it, but to be honest, I rarely found coins this way, and it's not the most efficient way. Now our old location on Route Five is still viable; it's just not the most efficient at this time. So you can still keep doing the same thing we were doing last time with the level one shoppets, and it will still work. You will still find amulet coins. But I have found a more efficient way since Thief has changed. Now, what are you going to need for this updated strategy? You're going to need a level 1 Thief and thief and Frisk or Covet Pokemon. Uh, one specifically with both Frisk and Thief so you can save yourself some time. And then the other two don't really necessarily have to have Frisk. They can have whatever you need them to have. Now, I've been testing out some different... Frisk Pokemon, and to be honest, Stantler is uh is the best due to bulk. I'll bring up Stantler here so you can kind of see, and I'll switch to the IVs and EVs and everything that I did for it. It seems to be the best, mainly because you're taking a lot of hits now, because you're guessing which Pokemon to Thief, which actually wastes a lot of time. So sometimes you're hitting every single Pokemon with Thief before you get the item. Kind of sucks. Well, during that, you're actually taking a lot of damage from these Meowths, and... Sandler is bulky enough and you can build him bulky enough and he's not taking super effective damage from these Meowths. So you can actually take quite a few hits and I have yet to have my Stantler faint even without getting healed uh, with it before I run out of Sweet Scent power points. So he's bulky enough, works amazing. One downside, uh, apparently Stantler's leveling is slow, like XP wise. It didn't feel that way. It felt really fast compared to like leveling a Bayonet. Uh, but Bayonet, you can also use. But leveling wise is much faster as well. The only problem and downside to Bayonet is it dark type moves such as Assurance and Feign Attack are super effective versus Bayonet. And they really, it really gets chipped down super fast, especially with the fact that these Meowths that we're going to be tanking also have screech which hits every single time and reduces your defense by two stages so those bayonets even take more and more damage but if you don't want to do a there you can definitely do a bayonet. bayonet just make sure they are level 100. now you're also going to and what i you don't necessarily need to do this but i definitely recommend it you want to get a pokemon with the ability intimidate pressure stench mainly because you're going to be going through this little stretch of water after you heal because you're going to be using teleport. You run into a lot of tentacles, tentacles. It's really bad. So intimidate pressure and stench 
reduce your chance for a wild encounter by 50% as long as you're at least five levels higher than the wild encounter. So it's like a weaker repel, but you don't have to keep applying it. Now you can apply repel and just use that and have a high level Pokemon in front so you don't run into the tentacles. Or you could just try to just run away from them and waste a little bit of time. I'm just trying to be just efficient and not waste a bunch of repels. So I've been using a level 100 uh, Salamence with Intimidate. And as you can see, we haven't hit a single tentacle cool or cruel encounter and it, it doesn't completely negate them you will run into them but you'll run into way less of them and you'll spend less time running away from them and, and whatnot and that's the funny thing is some of them do have like poison barb which you could steal from them if you have your first pokemon on so just a side, side note now you also need a pokemon with teleport if you don't have teleport ocarina and a pokemon with sweet scent that's pp maxed those are kind of straightforward now where are we doing this we're doing this on island one in kanto we're going to be surfing and going north up into the grass and you're going to run into two pokemon uh with hordes of five so we're running into ponyta which their moveset i'll bring it up here on screen is stomp flame wheel agility and fighter spin and meowth which moveset is going to be fan attack assurance fury swipes and screech now they both carry items so you will proc frisk on both hordes of course meowth is still going to be carrying quick law and amulet coin and uh ponytail is going to be carrying a shuka berry so if you want to farm some berries you can keep in mind it's going to be really hard to run from the ponyta if you get hit with a fire spin and also fire spin does a lot of damage no matter what level you are because it's percent damage and there's a chance to get burned and yeah also i think this location has better shiny variants uh so we had Mankey and meowth in the last one and Mankey's an okay shiny but to be honest ponyta is like one of my favorite shinies the blue is beautiful and then we also still have Meowth shinies and we're seeing more of them every time because they're hordes of five. So your shiny chance is actually increased here on top of this being more efficient to get items. Now I know it said hordes have less items but I actually have found multiple items on, on Meowth hordes before and you can see in the behind me we actually find several amulet coins in less than 10 minutes. And that's not even, that was the first time I recorded. I didn't like record multiple times to like show across like a really lucky run. In fact, heck, some of the sweet scents, I went 100% Ponyta on this run and, and didn't get a single Meowth one. It just happens. It, and there's RNG, but you actually get coins pretty fast. Now, the strategy, there's some strategy to it. Obviously, we start at the PC. We put our utility Pokemon with uh, one of those abilities, Intimidate, Stench, Pressure in front. We surf to the grass, uh, to the to the land, and go up to the grass. Swap to your Frisk Pokemon. Make sure your Frisk Pokemon does have Thief because that's your first Pokemon. And you're also gonna want to have two other Thief Pokemon with. So as you can see in my my, uh, I have a Bayonet with, and I have a Munchlax with Covet with. So at least have three. I have never seen three items yet but there is a chance you could have five items so if you want to bring five with be my guest and screenshot that and link it to me because i want to see that first of all all right so we get into the grass and we swap to the frisk pokemon sweet scent till we come up on a meowth horde with an item now what i do and you don't necessarily have to do this you can find your own rhyme or reason but i always start on the left most left pokemon and i target that first and then i work my way to the right that way if i always do the same thing maybe I'll, I'll get lucky sometimes and then sometimes i'll end up hitting every pokemon with thief now there's some things you need to pay attention to and one of them being quick law procs a lot so if it if the item itself is a quick law and it procs keep an eye on that on the pokemon if it uses Fain attack or screech you can tell by the animation which pokemon had the quick claw and then you can thief it really quick no problem Right? If it doesn't use either of those moves, you can also uh, say it uses like Assurance or Fury Swipe. You can also watch the other four Meowths or three Meowths because you, you'll end up killing one of them. And, uh, but if they use Screech or Fan Attack, you can cross those out from the list and know that you need to target one of these two 
or this one specifically because everything else used screech and you didn't get to see what move that one used because it used a move that doesn't have an animation that shows which one it is. So really pay attention to that. Now, if you're not interested in thieving quick laws, once it procs, you can just run away. Though, I, I still thieve them because when you when you, you can sell a quick cloud to an NPC for 1000 Pokemon and it really doesn't take too long to get once you found it. Uh, that there is an item there and it is quick claw so yeah that that is it if you guys have anything to add to the guide definitely leaving in in the comments below because i might have missed something i try to do my best but if i miss something and you have something to add please throw it in the throw it in the comments below and i just want to put this warning out this is a guide the game changes a lot if you're watching this and this guide is a little more outdated because there's been a lot of changes. It's because the game changed and I, can, <laughs> I can't edit the guide after I make it. So this is keep an eye on the timestamp of this guide when watching it because this game does make a lot of changes. I mean, in the last two years, Prisk and Thief have been all over the place uh, because they're trying to stop botting from farming items like crazy and keeping you know they have their reasons but it's been all over the place so just keep an eye on the tag and then uh of course if you like the the guide please hit that subscribe button that like button leave a comment even if it's like hey five out of five you're amazing or uh maz your voice is super sexy just keep keep doing voiceovers and, and we don't need to see your face because oh like anything like that i don't care you guys are freaking amazing and uh Hopefully I'll get more uh, more videos out, more guides out when I can. I'm a little busy at the moment, IRL, but you guys are freaking amazing. And I hope you enjoy the guide. I hope you get lots of amulet coins and roll in that Poke Yen that you make from using them. Uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Yeah, it's the end. Hey, check out these guys, okay? I think there's uh, one right there, one right there, and I'll see you guys later.